The Singatoga sand dunes are located directly west of the mouth of the Singatoga River, which is the second largest river in Fiji. And it's actually right near the village of Voli Voli. In person, the sand dunes seem to never end, but in actuality, the entire sand dune system spreads across an area roughly three miles long. About half of the sand dunes are actually unstable, mostly in the east, which made it really difficult for us to maneuver, especially as we were climbing upwards. When the sun is at the highest point in the sky, the sand actually can reach temperatures of around 170 degrees Fahrenheit, which is why we had to come back around 6 p.m. And you'll see Master Nan joking about the sand feeling like it's fire because it literally was. It's a gate there. When you enter, they charge ticket. $20? Yeah. This is the trick. We move free. <laughs> Nobody charge. It's not a road. We rip it on a piece of stick. So Master Nan is telling us how throughout his over 20 years here in Singatopia, he would go to spots like this, especially this one, and fish. And he told us how he would find his tools and make them. He wouldn't, you know, go buy fishing rods and things like this. He would make his own fishing tools. And this is how he did it. Put uh, one this side, here another one this side. Two of them I throw. And I hold two of the fishing <laughs> line. Whichever bites, I hook. If this one bites, I hook this one, leave alone. Yeah. Very resourceful. Makes you think about all the things that we have back at home that we don't really need. And then I start putting this one. <laughs> That's the way I fish there. That's how. Rafiki? Rafiki? Yeah. It's from The Lion King, the movie. Oi. Disney movie. Uh huh? Yeah, it reminds me of Rafiki. Oh, they were, they, they were shooting here in the sand dunes. Oh, oh wow. really? Yeah. Oh, like the the movie? Ah, huh, the movie. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. In Fiji, sand dunes? Yeah. They wow. did the shooting here. Oh. Uh -huh. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, I see it. 